people deluded a quick one i'm back again now if you saw that liverpool result you again of course i i would love liverpool to go through this to, to this final obviously they are and lose because i support arsenal i don't support liverpool but banter aside rivalries aside you have to take your hats off people were, were were clowning them were hailing up messi and all of these things and it did look like an impossible task but if you believe, if you have fight, desire, you fight for your man, you fight for the shirt, you fight for yourselves, you fight for the fans, you have half a chance. Of course Barcelona were poor, of course they made changes, of course to a degree the, the selection and, and the team tactics from the manager and the, play, the way the players were playing had a degree of uh, arrogancy. But give credit to Liverpool, there was no Roberto Firmino, there was no Salah, um, there was injuries, well at a point Robertson got injured and they fought through it. Smart. Obviously, the pick of the bunch would be Trent Arnold. Poor defending from Barcelona, sleeping after conceding three goals. De Stegen is clapping with his hands up. Lovely to get the fourth. Origi turned up. Ronaldo off the bench. They did their thing. Credit where due. But do you see what happens when there's belief, people? Klopp is doing something special. I know people will laugh if he doesn't get a trophy this season because of the league points tally in the Premier League and back-to-back -back finals, which is a fantastic achievement. I've been saying Klopp's going to do something special at Liverpool. I really rate Klopp as a manager. I think regardless of if they come second and don't win the Champions League, they've had a good season and one to build upon. They've lost once in the Premier League. They've got good squad players that they've sourced. Players that were already there are developing. Players are coming through the academy. Players are coming back through injury. They've got star players. And regardless, it, obviously, you're going to give credit when you watch Liverpool do well to, maybe not yesterday necessarily, but the Robertsons, the Trent Arnolds. The, the front men, but it's everyone, it's the Ronaldo, it's, it's, it's even Henderson, Henderson got destroyed against Barcelona at the Nou Camp, and I'm, Henderson, is, I don't think he's a good player, but you've got to give credit where are due to these lads, and obviously Arsenal were a long way away from Liverpool because of, I believe, the mentality from the top and what Liverpool want to achieve in football, and maybe what Arsenal want to achieve are two different things, Um, one manager's being backed in the market, but away from being backed and fees spent and Van Dijk and all of these things, man are just fighting for themselves, they're fighting for the fans, they're fighting for the shirts, they're galvanised, they believe, they believe in themselves, they've got belief. If I'm any one of them Arsenal players and you was watching the Champions League, you've got to think, what if we could do something like that again? We're a long way away from Liverpool. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the heart, the consistency, the desire, the belief in yourself. The, the, if you just believe in yourself and you have you have half a chance in any football match, obviously Liverpool will go into cup finals in future and they'll be 3-0 down and they'll lose that 3-0. But the one time it don't happen, you see what happens. They do something magical. And from any one of them Arsenal players, you've got to look at it, man. I know Spurs probably going to go out to Ajax. Let me touch wood. Hopefully they do, people. But... um. They, they showed fight to turn it around against City in the Champions League. They showed fight and even, OK, we were poor and other, everyone else was poor in the league to a degree. But so was Spurs. Showed fight to get to get in the Champions League. Base, if you're just basic togetherness as a squad, you see what you can do. Now, I'm not going to... I think Arsenal players, to a degree, get a harsh rap because I do think there is togetherness in that bunch and I do think they get on well. But in terms of fight, desire, playing when your back's against the wall... We, we lack that compared to stuff. So if you see what Liverpool did yesterday, if I'm one of them players, I'm looking around sideways at my teammates and I'm trying to draw inspiration from, from Klopp and Liverpool and what they're doing. But I'm also asking, why can't we do any of that to a degree? Because I know I've given Liverpool as an example, but you could say you could say Leicester when we lost there, Wolves historically this season, more so when they beat us at, the, at their place. Um, who else? Just about anyone that we've lost to has... At, the basic components is they've 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 believed, and we we quickly sink into we sink and remain and fall divided, man. United we stand divided, we fall on far too many occasions. I see our players fall divided in it, dividedly, if that's even a word. But on that note, I've got nothing more to say. People deluded.